What's good? If you're not tuned in, you're now rocking with the best. We're a little late, but that's all good. I'm your host, Sensei the H, on another dope episode of Sans Corner. Bow. Hey, this is the show where I interview interesting people, independent artists, such as rappers, singers. Hey, and just know what I'm saying, good business people at, at hand. Hey, um, so back to the special guest on Sans Corner today is none other than independent rapper. Jalil, what's good, bro? What's up, buddy? What's good with you? Chillin', chillin'. Chillin', chillin'. But we're gonna get right back to them in a second. Um, this is Black History Month, so I have to um put my spotlight on a, on a man of good attention. Um, want to take the time to salute Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall, born July the second, nineteen oh eight, passed away January twenty fourth, nineteen ninety three. Um, Thurgood Marshall was a former associate justice of the Supreme Court in the United States. Um, if you don't know what a justice is, a justice deliberates the outcome of cases in the Supreme Court. Thurgood Marshall was the first African American justice, and he served from 1967 to 1991. He was a, before he even got there. He was a successful civil rights lawyer. Um, at this time, we would like to salute Thurgood Marshall on Sands Corner. Man. Salute. Um, we're back to Sands Corner. I got the main man, Jaleel, mm -hmm. man. What's good, man? What's good with you, man? Chilling, chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Good, man. I'm glad to see you here, man. First of all, where you, where you from, man? I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. Portsmouth. Hey, you gotta have to speak up. Them people need to hear you, man. I'm from Portsmouth. <laughs> there we go, baby. The people that <laughs> say from Portsmouth, baby. What's... All right, that's what it is. So, you're a rapper, man. How long you been rapping? Like, I've been taking rap serious since about 22, 22. 22, y'all now. 32. 32, so a good 10 years. Yeah. You've been out there. Anybody you've been working with in particular? I work with a whole lot of people as of recently. I'm working on this song now with uh, a girl named Yana. It's called You. You know what I mean? We dropped the cover, uh, the cover art on um, Instagram. And um, that shit was stupid. The cover art was stupid. 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 I got 123 likes. Word. Yana, she's a singer? She's a singer. Look. Word. No. Word. That's what it is, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So. What kind of albums you got coming out, man? Yeah, I got four letter word, three. Know what I mean? Last year I dropped two. This is three. Know what I mean? And the four letter word is pray. Like, okay. Not pray like praying, but like pray like. Like a predator praise. praise. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what's next, man. Who, so. who, you, uh, who you work with in it, man? Who's, who's the producers? Anybody you collaborate you want to um, speak of? That you can't speak of? Not really. Uh, I got... T Riffic on one. Shout out to T Riffin, man. He's that dude. Um got a dude named Dilly on the beat. Word. Um I ain't even finished writing the joint yet. <laughs> That's what it is, man. <laughs> hey man, if you're not tuned in, you rock with the best. I'm your host since the ace. Um my co-host Chuck Black, he was unavailable to make it. He was abducted by aliens. Um Right down to my father, if I got the main man, independent rapper, Jaleel. Hey, man, I got to pay a couple bills right quick. Hey, man, when it comes to our voice, our culture, that's the one and only. Drinking on Sundays. Roll Hall and Doc Ford and the boys, man. Drinking on Sunday. Also, I want to give a shout-out to Lisa's, man. Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge, located on 107 Juwan Drive in Portsmouth, Virginia. They open up at 12 daily. Make sure you go there on Tuesday for karaoke night. Wednesday, you better get up in there for their breaking night. No, you know, no, you know about me. Yeah, that shit, that shit, hit on straight missile. And man, we're gonna get into that. Her daily food special, her drink special, a little bit later. Um, right now, I want to shout out. Hey, if you you ever been to a, uh, an event like a, a wedding or somebody's birthday, or maybe you went to the club and you want to take a picture, you need your pictures photographed. Photographer. Photographer. <laughs> you need your pictures shot, man. You need pictures done for any of your special events. Holler my main man, Richard Griffin, man. That's the man behind the camera. You can't see him because you're watching us dope individuals right now. But holler my main man, Richard Griffin, man. That's Rich G underscore photo pro on Instagram. Holler him at Richard Griffin on Facebook. Hey, make sure when you want to get my clothing line at Corner Kill, holler my main man, Alice Giles. That's Alice Giles on Facebook, 9A Clothing, man. We should need that female, get that female deal. Holler his wife, Linda Giles. That's that. Bougie fashions. Bougie fashions. I got it right that time. time Bougie fashions, man. Holla at him. Linda Giles, man, on Facebook, man. Hey, so um, getting back to my main man, Jalil, man. What's good with you, fam? 
Shit, I'm trying to figure out where you got that shirt from. Bro. Oh, yeah. Holler at my main man, um, Alice Giles, man. That's um, 9A Clothing, man. 9A Clothing. Did I get it right? 9A Clothing, man. I need that. Holler at him, Alice Giles. Alice, Alice Giles on Facebook, man. I'm telling you. I support, man. I appreciate you, man. So, getting back to you, though, man of the hour. What's your motivation behind your rap, man? Rap is like my, um, my, my release. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody go through shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, some niggas smoke weed, some niggas drink, some people rob people, some people, some people say they're dope. I rap. Some people play basketball, some people go exercise. I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Straight like that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I noticed that a lot of people, like, when, is it, when it comes down to the come down, everybody has a gift, everybody has a talent. I'm a rapper as well. And rapping is somewhat of a, of a release, just like for a, a boxer punching that heavy bag or, you know, a track star just running. Like for somebody that has that, that creative ability, rapping releases a lot. You can, you can release a lot mentally off, but you can do that. It helps out of life, period. So I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying. So, like I was saying, you got any, we're asking, you got any upcoming ventures with any new artists or, you know, anybody you can speak of, any new rappers, um, any new producers? Uh, this is my first time working with uh, Dilly the Kid and T Richard. Okay. So that's that's new. I'm still looking for a beat from T Richard. Man, uh, shout out T Richard. Shout out T Richard, man. Shout out T Richard. Hey, also shout out his wife, man. Lanique, she, man. She um. <laughs> hey, look, both of them herbal. She, she made she made my logo. They herbal. Yeah, she made my they logo. Herbal. Shout out, they shout herbal. out to her, man. Yeah, they everywhere. Um, so who would you like to work with, if you could? Who would you like to work with? Like locally? Locally and in the industry. Locally. Stew money. Free stew. Free stew, man. Free stew money, man. Free real, man. Um, Long live June, man. Long live June. If you know, you know, man. One of the realest, man. Long live June. This shit just hitting the right there. Um, so now speaking with... Rapper, independent rapper Jalil, you're on another episode of Sam's Corner. I'm your host, Sensei the Ace. Chuck Black got abducted by aliens. We'll be seeing them soon, hopefully, when they bring them back. That's if they bring them back. Um, so I'm talking with the main man right here, Jalil from Portsmouth, Virginia, rapper. So what inspires you to rap, man? Um, I was a poet. Okay. I started writing poetry at like. So they go hand in hand. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then I wrote my first song at 11. It was. It was garbage. It was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real nigga, like, but it was it was called Rock and Rainbow, and I just steamed up all the colors. Right. That's when I knew I could do it. And then I let one of my friends here. He was like, "Bro, that shit garbage." <laughs> <laughs> your friends will let you know, man. Your real your friends will let you know. <laughs> shout out Bernie Easton, man. Hey, shout out, man. Shout out to him, man. Hey, man. So, who did you grow up listening to? I'm talking about rap, 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 rap. Who rap, you rap. listening to? Jada. Kiss. Shout out to Lops, man. Jay Z. Biggie. Um. Ti. Um. I listen to everybody, bro. I'm talking about like from country music to music is a feeling to me. You know what I'm saying? Word. And it depends on how I feel on who I listen to. That's what's up, man. I feel you. I can definitely relate to that. Hey, man. Y'all make sure y'all chime in. Any questions you got for me or the homie right here, make sure you chime in, man. Um, So, what can we expect from you in the future, music-wise? Oh, I'm about to put some pressure on y'all. Oh, yeah. Talk about it. Talk about, about it. We need to hear about it. I'm about to put some Oh, yeah. But my fault, though, because before I didn't let you get, get the um get the um, answer to the question. Oh, I see you had to put that picky up. You talk about the pressure. Yes, we you know some, some pressure about to happen. But industry-wise, <laughs> industry, industry when you put that picky up, yeah, industry-wise, though, industry-wise, who would you like to work with mm -hmm. if you could? If I could. If you could. Not saying, like, talent. I'm talking about if you had the opportunity to work with any artists in the industry right now right now one though you just get one. Oh yeah the baby why ask me why ask me why see they they, they they do it again they they run my show they do it they do it it's cool though because everybody loves since corner is a nice group they run my show it's cool though it's cool i act it's cool though like, see why. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Why? He on everything. Facts. He doing numbers. Facts. He got on my song, I'm going to do numbers. And after that, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap after that. Because I'm going to try to smoke him. <laughs> no cap. That's motivation. That's motivation. If you're down to it, you're rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sensei the Asia, on another dope episode of Sam's Corner. This is the show where I interview independent artists such as singers, rappers, and interesting people. Oh, I got to pay my bills again. Like I said, when it comes to our boys, our culture, we're only talking about one thing. It's drinking on Sundays. From Holland, Dark Ford and the boys, man. Salute, man. But then we got to talk about Lisa's. Lisa's, located on 107 Shawan Drive, opens daily at 12. Hey, man, you better dig it. So, as you were saying, them wings. we were talking about the food special. We were talking about the food special. Hey, man, no wings, though, man. <laughs> no wings. Oh, by the way. Uh, we're going to get into that. That was a question I asked by my last interview week. Um, if you're not 30 and up, can you still come there and pick up food? Because Lisa is, as you know, a 30 and up establishment to get in. Yes, you can, but only on the lounge side between 12 and I think she said 3 or between 5. I apologize, Lisa. But yes, you can. 12 if you're and 6. 12 and 6. Appreciate it. Thank you. If it won't fuck, I might have got there. I messed that all up. But the man behind the camera set me straight. Friends, how many of us have them? So anyway, um, we talk about Lisa's, man. <laughs> Those food specials, man. Hey, look. So we talking about you can get the cheeseburger with fries. Or you can get the, the five-piece wings with fries. Or you can get the two-piece whitening with fries. Five dollars, man. Five dollars. I'm, I'm at, at no when, count. When? When can you get that? When can you get that? That's a daily food special, my nigga. You so we're going to get that after this? After this. Also, I think that's what we also make sure. <laughs> also make sure you go in there for her daily whale specials, man. Those two dollar, two dollar whales and those two dollar bills, man. Also, she has a five dollar henny. I believe that is from fat three, five to eight. I'm probably wrong, but trust me, it's a five dollar henny up in there in the early part of the day, and I'm gonna get that right, Lisa. I'm sorry, please don't kill me. Um. Also, make sure you holler at Lisa on Tuesdays, man. That's karaoke night, man. Go in there and be Whitney Houston, be um on um, Bobby Brown. Bobby don't Bobby. matter of fact, don't probably too. <laughs> Look, be who you want to be on karaoke night. Also, make sure you jump in there on Wednesday, man. That's that reggae night, man. Boom, boom, boom. Shout out DJ Baby Boy, man. Salute to you, man. Get, Get well, well, bro. Soon, man. Get well soon, bro. Hey, Baby boy that me, benefit, man. that benefit is is jumping off, man. On the 24th, 24th, 29th. I apologize, 29th of um February, the Riff House, the um the DJ Baby Boy benefit concert. That's a a Millie ENT. Um, event. Shout out to Capri Lawrence, man. All that. Getting back to the main man of the hour, Jaleel. So I caught you <laughs> at a Capri Lawrence event over there at the Riff House. At the Riff House. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you did you catch the man Draco though? Caught that. Caught that. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that man. I caught that man. Dude was dope, man. Shout out to Draco. I man. got a question oh, from Sharonda Ricks. What's up? What's up, Sharonda, yo? She said, "What and who inspired him to get in the hip hop game, and what makes his music different from what's being played these days?" Good question, man. Hmm. Good question, Sharonda. I make music from my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying when I'm. Rapping, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm out here talking about stuff I don't do or bad shit. It's more so I'm I need hope. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give people hope. I'm trying to show change. I'm trying to show growth. Right. With me, myself, personally, and to my community. So that's what makes me different from a whole lot of these rappers out here. Like I can get on a song with a whole lot of trap niggas and burn them up, but. You're going to see four letter word three. <coughs> March 12th. No, tomorrow. One, two, three. That's what it is, man. So, what can my people sit up there and find your music now if they want to, uh, they want to holler at you? Erwer. Erwer. What, what platforms, man? Apple, Tidal, Spotify, um, all that shit. All digital. Under what name? Jalil. J A H L 3 E L. Word, word. That's what it is, man. I um, caught my main man on YouTube. I caught him on YouTube as well. Um, so, moving along into another portion of the show. Um, just moving along into my news my news portion of the show, um, if that's okay with you. Hey, I also want you to weigh in on my news, man. 
Uh, I want to go ahead and weigh in on, on a couple topics. Hey, man, uh, I have some sad news to report today. Bashar Baraka Jackson. Bashar Baraka Jackson, most of you know, know him as Pop Smoke, the 20-year-old rapper from New York, has passed away early this morning. It was in a, an apparent home invasion in West Hollywood. Um, that's, that's sad, man. Um, that's that's sad, man. I think his album just dropped like last week. Um, he had a he had a, a song that went that went viral. I think it was called "Welcome to the Party" or mm-hmm. something like that. Um, Gilly the Kid made a video about of, on all right. In his words, being being real, it's it's on YouTube. You can go and type in Gilly, Gilly the Kid on Pop Smoke. He made a good point. Um, when you're out there, just like he said, he doesn't know the situation going on with Pop Smoke. But when you're out there. Doing your thing, mm-hmm. you're in other places. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody you know wants to be your friend or whatever, or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. But the whole time, the point being, you out there to do what? You're doing business. business. You know, um, don't be posting your ad on social media. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Not saying that he, <laughs> not saying that's what he's saying what happened. But if you go and review some of the this last social media footage, um. He actually, I don't think he did it on purpose, exactly. but it was some bags. It was some bags that had his address on them, some like some gift bags that he showed. And this, these are all facts. I'm not making nothing up. There were actual gift bags that he was posting. that had his address on it. And the next thing you know, he got hit, you know. That's crazy. That's crazy. You right? know, um, what are your thoughts on that, man? 20 years old, man. 20, 20 years, years old. old. He's, still, he's still learning. Like... Basically, it's more so. <clears throat> I feel like this gonna sound fucked up, but that's the ignorance of our community. If say 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 Billy was a millionaire, you think mm-hmm. Billy on social media holding money for? Mm-hmm. No, he ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. Look at Juan. Juan ain't doing that. Mm-mm. You know what that money at? in the bank in the investment. That's what people. That's what our people need to do. We need to start investing. Why is we walk around with a hundred thousand dollars? Why? To flex on another nigga. Niggas hate. Niggas take. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, it's sad as fuck though. He only he twenty. Twenty, 20 man. Twenty, 20. years old, man. Twenty that's years sad, old, man. That's twenty sad. years old. And that's that's the part that really hurt. It, he he didn't get the chance to experience life. 20 years old, you really didn't get the chance to experience nothing a little bit, but you know, that, that's the sad part about it, man. I think we need to do better as a people, man. We really, really need to do better as a people. Um, moving on into another topic, I'm gonna shift into another topic. Um, <clears throat> three time NBA champion Dwayne Wade um, has a daughter named Zaya. Um, yeah, go ahead, man, go ahead. Um, is a he has a daughter named Zaya, and which she's she's a boy, but is identifying as a as a girl. Um, the internet is on fire right now because Lou Boosie made a a rant where he was, you know, he you know basically what the man said was, man, don't cut that boy dick off. All right, but I don't, I have not found any evidence that. D Wade and, and company was even thinking about doing that, but <clears throat> what we're talking about is the fact that this boy, her, the child is what, 12, 13 years old. 12 years old. And this is being a 12 year old is being allowed to identify as a female. A female you know, or you know, that's the the, the the time that we live in now. That's the day and age that we live in now. There are a lot of positive views on the subject. Um, shout out to D Wade. He's doing a cr- 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 terrific job of being a parent, yes, letting um his child Making embracing his child, making yeah. make his own decisions. You know, and then we have some backlash. Whereas then you have some men saying, "Don't do that. Don't let your child." You know. Be do this, that, and the third. Be blase, blase, blase. Um, hot seat question, man. How you feel? How I feel about that? I feel like Dwayne Dwayne Wade is doing uh, a phenomenal job. He's handling that like a champ. Like if my son was to come to me and tell me he was gay, that shit would crush me. 
but would I stop loving my son? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. So what's 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 more important? Some like social media shit or the love you got for your son though. So I completely understand what Dwayne Wade is doing, but at the same time I do understand where Boots are coming from. Right. But I feel like a person gonna be a person. You can't control everything. That's true, man. That's 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 facts, man. Um, you have people that, you know, no matter what gender that you identify, that you that you were born, you may identify with another gender. Um, you have those. A lot of those people said that they knew that they wanted to be this, that, or the third when they were, you know, such and such years old, young, or whatever. Um, Sharonda's talking to us. She's saying uh, he's only twelve years old. He shouldn't be able to make adult decisions like that as a boy. Hey, Sharonda. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, a boy gonna do what he wanna do anyway. But he, she does. She does make a valid point. He, he's twelve. He's, he's twelve, man. How many gay dudes you with? And I think, and I think though that um, that Boosie had a good point. You know he what I mean? Boosie had he a had point. a good point. He just, I think he he said it the wrong way. Yeah, Boosie had a good you point. He just, came, he just came across <coughs> the, wrong way, the wrong way with his message. Um, my opinion on it is, you know, as far as like what Boosie's saying, like trying to, you know, you know, the sex change and whatnot, that's something that I would not, I would not endorse. Although I, like I said, again, I don't have any evidence of that's what D Wade and them is saying. That's what they're going to do. Doing that like in real life. Like Boosie right is making allegations saying that the way we, that, that's, they want to like. Mm. That's what that is no they have mm. D Wade ain't even said nothing to the effect of yeah. It's still your son, bro. Yeah, but they ain't talking about doing a sex change with him. That's not what the evidence I have. But I don't even think that he was just um talking about simply that. You know what I mean? I was I was just reading the article like five minutes after you was talking about it to me. So um my my take is that he was he was thinking more along the lines of you don't know if you're gay yet. You know what I mean? You think you know, but you don't know. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, bro, yeah, at, at 12 years old, I you want to be everything. old gay boy. Listen. He gay to this day. He 18. I mean, yeah, like I said, some, some, some people knew that they were, you know, gay or whatever at that age. Hey, I have no... That's what I don't. I don't. I ain't got nothing against nobody. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, sir. But no, no. Since yeah. Corner has nothing against no. Yeah. I would. That's, I'm not gonna say the alphabet because I feel like I mess them up. But we don't Probably have will. nothing against anybody. L B G T. What? Yeah. What he said. They added a Q. Yeah, they added a Q. I don't. I know. Oh, I don't Q. know what that <laughs> means. I know. I don't yes. know. What that means. But we don't have nothing. But um, as far as you know, the sex change or whatever. If that's what. If that, I wouldn't definitely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't endorse that. I wouldn't, I, that's not a If that's what they want to do, though, that's what they're going to do. But, you know what I mean? But, but I, don't, I don't even think we should really be. He's going to have to wait. I mean, that's, that's, he, he wait. At, at the end of the day, though, that's that man's, that's that man's child. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are up at arms saying, why are we focusing on that man's child and their decisions That's right. and whatnot when a lot of people don't even focus on their own kids. I'm going right. to I'm I'm answer that for you. I'm going to answer that for you. Because he's in the limelight and that guy put out there. He put it out there. He went on Ellen. He publicly endorsed it. So everybody's going to talk about it. That's the reason why people are focusing on it. And it's, you may disagree with me, but that's real. If Suppose he never said nothing about it. Suppose he never came out with it. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't nobody know. So nobody wouldn't have anything to talk it, about. It brings up a topic that, Ooh. you know, a lot of us are not are not tackling. It yeah, brings true, up a topic true. that we, your, we're not oh, tackling. So how long Magic Sun been gay? I'm not sure. It's not in the limelight. Exactly. No, well, it is now. It is it's now. now. But at it's first it was <laughs> You know what I'm saying? At first, like, I guess now that he's grown or whatever, whatever but at first, I guess it wasn't. And D-Wade made that... D-Wade made that, and he, he publicly supported his child, and he made put that that's into the limelight, and that's what people are, that's, that's what, what people, people are going to talk about so what's in the limelight. Kids, that's right. You know what I'm saying? And Sands Corner supports whatever decision, whatever. Um, like I said, there's been no evidence saying that they were going to cut his dick, though. There ain't been no evidence on that, you know. Oh, 
Man, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, we don't know, man. It's a lot of know. fake news out here, so we don't know what's going on. We, just, we can only speculate at this point, but we know that Wade does support his son, and that's the most important that's thing. The most that's the most important, important part. To do. That's the most important part. That man supports and loves his son. His daughter. I ain't want to sit up there. Like, I apologize. His daughter. My how, fault. How many people out here got down? Like, how many niggas out here not supporting their kids doing anything? That's you a fact. Saying? But fact. I bet you they got something to chime in on about that man's situation. Yeah, true, true. That's the that's that's human nature. That's the nature of the human. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what people do. They talk about what's in the limelight, but don't reflect on what's going on in their real life. That's the nature of the business. Sometimes, unfortunately, um, shifting gears, man. Moving into another part. Moving into sports. Talking about sports, man. Who you football team? Detroit. Detroit what? Miami. They got a team still. Yeah, we we still in there. We still in there. All right. We all be the Chiefs. We uh, we two. We too. <laughs> we always be. Four points. We're all the way back to week two. We're all the way back to week two. Yeah. Week two. Good, luck. Good luck. Matt Stafford got hurt week six. And then they jerked us the next week versus uh, Packers. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? So the coach said, hey, fuck it. We're going we're gonna to take the next year. He just, <laughs> he's a true fan. He just explained his, he just explained his year loss. Let's <laughs> go line. True fan. <laughs> hey, man. Now you about to flip. I'm a Cincinnati bagel, man. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I got that gun. That's why you lie. Yeah, that's why you lie. Yeah, that's why you lie. Everybody know what I am. Hey, Shay, who they, man? That's my team. We're going to talk about some sports right quick. We're going to get into some quick sports topics. We have some quick sports updates in the NFL. Not the XFL. I'm talking about the NFL tonight. Hey, man. Um, Ex Carolina Panthers tight end Greg Olson has signed a one year deal with the Seattle Seahawks. Ooh. Cowboys tight end Jason Witten says he will be coming back for the for the 2020 season, and it doesn't matter if he's with the Cowboys or not. Oh, oh, nice. the line. oh. oh. he just want to play. Yeah, he, he want to play. play. It don't even matter if I'm with the Cowboys or not. Mm. Hey, the Cleveland Browns have cut four players. They have cut um T.J. Oh, they yeah, no, they ain't cut them. <laughs> they cut T.J. Carroll at quarter quarterback. They cut a the tight end Demetrius. Demetrius, um, hold on, the bright lights, they, they got to be right. We're trying to see his spots. They cut Demetrius Hams, a tight end. They cut a guard, Eric Cush, and they cut a linebacker, Darius Taylor, on Monday, which freed them up for a salad for uh, about, I think, like, what, $13 million on salary cap or mm-hmm. something like that. Freed them up pretty, pretty what decent. Pick they got so the cat, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what pick they have, but they going to do something with that money. Mm-hmm. Um, tight end Jordan Reed. Of the Washington Redskins has been uh, cleared from the concussion protocol. They got a team. Yeah, the, the Washington Redskins got a team, man. It was what I've been told. If um you don't remember, Jordan Reed suffered a helmet to helmet in week three. Um, and I'm not even talking week three of the regular season. He suffered a helmet to helmet week three in the pre in the preseason game. Um, sources say Reed will be released. This is what they're thinking. Reed may be released. From Washington, from Washington, and that would save them a $8.5 million game he cut. against the salary cap with $1.8 million in dead money. Um, but keep in mind, Reed has two years left on his contract. Um, yeah, he, he, um, he about to get cut. cut. Um, football, football fans, hey, y'all let me some phone calls. So you <laughs> know, man, it's about to a lot of open space out there. There's a lot of people, they just let go. Hey, build the team. I know do it every year, though. Yeah, they do it every year. It's like a monopoly out here, man. It's a real monopoly out here, man. Hey, man, if you're not tuning in, you're not rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sensei. That's your another another dope episode of Sands Corner, man. Um, the seven five seven is best and number one podcast out here in Virginia, man. Um, so I got the number one game show on on my number one podcast that my main man, independent rapper Jaleel, is about to play. This is the gate portion called "Who Is It." This is the part where I give this man the well, he's fixing name. his hat. He fixing his hat. Yeah, he, he fixing his hat. He getting ready. I give him the <laughs> industry name of somebody that's already made it with three cho- three chances to see who it is. Hey, y'all can chime in at home. It should be good. Multiple choice. This is multiple choice, man. Multiple choice. Yeah, it's multiple choice. Smack this multiple shit. choice, man. You gotta try, man. You gotta try. You gotta try smacking, man. I don't blame you. Don't get stomped, though. <laughs> don't get stomped. All right, man. Are you ready? Yeah. Hope y'all ready at home. Here we go. Who is it? And his name is. Troy Jameson. Troy Jameson. And your options are Pharaoh Munch, Common, or Too Short. His name is Troy Jameson. Troy Jameson. I'd like to go to see. 
and he'll be over C. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to put your weight on it. You gotta put your weight on it. You got thorough much, common, or too short. <laughs> this is that go with C. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with C out and Troy. Too short. You're going with, you're going with too it's short. Wrong. You're going with too short. The correct answer is Feral Munch. Troy I Jameson is Feral <laughs> Munch. Heh. We got one down. Here goes number two. And his name is Cal Marix. Cal Marix. And your yes, Cal Marix. And your choices are Staley, Black Raw, or Funk Master Flex. Your name again is Cal Marix. Cal Mavericks, and your choices are Staley, Black Rob, or Funk Master Flex. Put your weight on it. Let's go with A. He's going with A. Staley. The correct answer is Staley. He got it right, man. Cal Mavericks is Staley, man. Oh, yeah. You got it, man. You got it, man. Free the vibe. If you all don't know who Staley is, remember that song 10 Jesus, 10 Jesus Pieces with Rick Ross? That's uh -huh. still one of the Jones. You get cut from them. I, I have no idea. No, I can't I can't say false facts that I don't know on the show. I'm but pretty sure he got dropped. He got dropped? Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. I do. We at Sense Corner do not know if Staley got dropped from Maybach Music Group. So <laughs> moving, moving on. Is, moving on to number three. <laughs> Question number three, man. On the show, on the part of my show called Who Is It? This man is one and one. This is the third question. I'm he gets this winner. right, he stumps me. If not, I win. I'm aware. And here it is. And the name is Walter Reed. Walter the name Reed. again is Walter Reed. And your choices are the Jizzle, Inspect the Debt, or Kill a Priest. The name is Walter Reed. Walter Reed. And your choices are Reed. Jizzle. Inspect the deck or kill a priest. And you rolling with? B. You rolling with B. Inspect the deck. Correct answer is kill a priest. Damn, I ain't never heard Walter of that. Walter Reed is kill a priest. I just did. Kill a priest. priest. That means I did not get stumped. 2-1. <laughs> Chuck Black got a duck back aliens. Tell him about it when he, when he comes back to Earth. Hey, man. If you're not tuning in, you're not rocking the best since the ace. I'm your I ain't it. You can't do that. I mean, this is what I do, man. This is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do, man. I interview independent rap artists, independent singers, and the rest of people. I got my main man sent to my left, Jaleel, man. I just stomped him on a portion of the game show yeah. called Who Is It? I'm going to shift into my fifth gear. I got a sixth gear, too, but this is the fifth gear right here. This is the portion of my show that's called Wrap It Up. I ain't talking about no comment. This is the portion of the show where I give my rapper or the singer, if I had a singer, but I got a rapper, I give him a 16. Right now, acapella. All you need to do is thing. That's right. all we need. I got a 32. The man said he got a 32. Is it some fat? Is it some fat? Ha! <sighs> Drinking on Sunday, here. Drinking on Sundays. Boom. 32. Oh. Free my brother Trey P. Free Stu Money. Shout out Naked. Um, who's trying to create all this shit? I said, look. Must be God's plan. Or maybe the stars align. You gotta focus on your vision. Not dollar signs, but they wanna see division. And profit on the bottom line. Said faith move mountains. I ain't the one you wanna climb. I end any one of you rappers with air time, but it's kinda fucked up. I don't get no spare time. I'll kill you all two by two. Pair of line got 18 shots in this clip. Pair of nines when the reaper on the way, he don't care if it's your time. Pedal to the floor, you swerve it, it's go time. Miss your shot, but want me to blow mine. Go back the same way I came, I seen signs, but I don't know about your niggas, I know mine. Look, hating on another man's spot, you never move up. Told my team winning, don't matter if we lose us. Can't love the same, my nigga. If you lose trust nowadays, being real fake, and you fooled us. My race and my race ahead of time. My race and my race ahead of time, my shoes up. Chasing my dream while my son chased a school bus. George Jefferson flow. I kind of moved up. I go really retarded. Short school bus. Syrup in my cup. Screwed up. Addicted to guns. Grabbed the fire. Try to shoot up. War going on outside. I had to boot up. Had to dig deep, my nigga. Pull a root up. 
And I won't stop till I'm completed. You won't stop till you depleted. Battle demons, I'm undefeated shit. Secret is to lay yourself too bad to be conceited. Keep your circle kind of small like the room for a secret. Money in these books. Niggas ain't reading. Penning for my thoughts. Save it up or keep it. Everybody want to be ghosts. I'm Tommy. Strapped like a suicide bomber. Kamikaze. Chopper got a kickstand on it. Not a holly. So if his hotel nigga, clear a Me, it's a definite. You would surprise put one in your head and two to your body. My brother pump work, motherfucking shot it. So if you ain't for the shit, stay the fuck from the party. 13, I was fighting two cases. Cross sides with fuck niggas got two bracelets. Cross sides, switch sides got two faces. Riding on my neck shit, nigga. Blue laces. They don't really fuck with me. Why? They too basic. They don't want to hear that I'm back. They can't face it. Doing what the fuck I want. It's my matrix. So the victory lot, they won't taste it. Swear to God, I'm more than you can handle, nigga. I never seen defeat in you some sandals, nigga. All that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, my man just dropped it. All that. You know what I'm saying? Right now, down to it, man. You're now rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sensei. They show on another dope ass episode of Sins Corner, the show where I interview independent artists such as rappers and singers and interesting people. You're now coming to the conclusion of another dope interview, but just like any one of my other interviews, if you want to watch it again, just do that little thing and go back and look at this all over again, man. Hey, man, we're coming up on the final thought, man. Final thought, man. For real. Just live. I called you my cousin. You must be talking about me. Khalil, I'm going to holler at you after the show. Jaleel, man, what's with your independent rapper? Final thought, what you got for the people, man? Um, I just want everybody to grow, be great. Um, chase your dream. Don't let nobody stop that. Um, believe in yourself. Self-love is the best love. It's okay to be selfish. Everybody ain't for you. Everybody ain't your friend. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Sometimes you got to love yourself more you love everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, free my brother Trey Piffy, free Stu Money, shout out Smooth, Naked, T.Y. Lamb, all my niggas, man, whoever I talk to her, they my love y'all niggas, man, y'all keep me pushing. Um, that's it, man. That's what it is, man. Hey, man, since to the ace, since my thought. You already know what it is. Hey, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. You got to get up off your ass and get out there and get it because ain't nobody going to give you shit out here for free but advice. Hey, man, I'm your host, Sins of Ace. I'm just wrap, just wrap up another dope, dope episode of Sins Corner. The dopest and number one podcast in Virginia, period. Holla at me, man. We out. How did I do that? <laughs>